Look at this crazy thing. When you when you go one way, it goes up. When you go the other way, it goes down. So out is up, down, up, down. So the eyepiece is going weird and the image is flying all over the place. Whether you go in or out. You can, you can move it. Once it's out, you can sort of move it up and down, which is crazy. So I'm going to work on that and put a little fix on it. There's the other end. You can see it going up and down as you move it in and out. Okay, so we need a Cooper fix. Okay, so here's the uh, the thing. This is what I've done. I've made a, a collar to go around the front of there, which is going to be solid. And it's made of a nice shiny material on the outside, which I'm going to put a little bit of grease around there. A little bit. It fits perfectly into the telescopium, like that. There you go. And then, once it's in, see, push that into there. Now we can see, when we, when we bring it back, it rides on the inside of the tube at the front and it doesn't allow the telescope to be a fulcrum where the, uh, where the worm gear is. So that's not a fulcrum anymore. It's just moving it in and out. It rests on the back side of the tube and on the rider inside. I've got eyes to the door. Excuse me. To recap. So now, because of the slider inside the tube, it just goes in and out without going up and down as well. It used to go up and down about four millimeters. Now about half a millimeter. I think that's not ideal, it's not perfect, but it's 99% better than it was. Don't do the maths, I know. Okay, so if you've got one of these mead digital telescopes and you're having a trouble focusing because it's wonking up and down and all the flares are going off either way, well, what you can do about that is the simple rider. Hope that's okay. Got any questions? Just ask me.